A 12 cm long spring has a force constant, or K, of 400 newtons per meter. How much force is required to stretch the spring to a length of 14 cm? So basically what we have here is a simple harmonic motion problem in relation to Hooke's law, because we can see that there's a force constant K. So Hooke's law is F of S, meaning the force of the spring in newtons, equals negative KX. X is the distance that the spring is stretching in meters, and K is the force constant of you know the spring. The more the higher it is, the more resistivity that the spring has towards not being in equilibrium or just stretching it. The negative here, it's negative because um, when you stretch out a spring, obviously the spring wants to maintain equilibrium and go back to its normal state. So it will always be in the opposite direction of whatever you push it towards. So that's why it's always opposite of F. So now let's uh, do this problem. So what do we know here? Well, first we know that K is 400 newtons per meter, which is you know just essentially just a given. How much force is required to stretch a spring to a length of 14 centimeters? So we know that this is probably going to be X2 because normally if they just said it was in equilibrium and they would stretch 10 centimeters, that would just be X. But over here we can see that it's 12 centimeters long. So it's not starting at origin, it's actually starting from 12 centimeters. So this would just be X1. In this case here, it would actually be delta X. So just the amount of uh, distance the spring has stretched. So let's solve it. We're solving for force of spring equals. We'll see here, they're trying to uh, describe it um, not by having a negative here, actually because they're just asking how much force is needed. They're not asking for negative force, they're essentially just asking for the absolute force. So we just essentially gotta plug in the numbers. We got 400 newtons per meter, okay? And delta x, which is just 14 centimeters minus 12 centimeters. Now, uh, let's just simplify that. F of s equals 400 times two centimeters, which is just 0 0.02 meters. And F of S equals, you simply calculate that 400 times 0 0.02, we get eight newtons. That's our answer. So essentially you need eight newtons to stretch the spring that, you know, delta X of a distance 0 0.02 meters. All right, thank you for watching. Hopefully this made it easier to understand. Uh, if you have any questions, just put it in the comments below, and uh, I'll see you later.